My dear students, welcome to SS2 Mathematics class. Today we shall be getting into continuation with the longitude and the latitude. Our objective, we want to know how to convert kilometers to nautical miles how to calculate distances in nautical miles and how to calculate the shortest distance between two points, then we shall get into calculation of time differences between two or more places. I mean between two places. Here we actually mean longitude and time. The nautical mile. Remember, look at the globe as represented, each dot here from one dot to another is taken here to be two points separated by a latitude difference of one minute. But what is actually the meaning of one minute, you need to know. We say, you may have known that an angle with a magnitude of one degree is exactly 60 minutes. It means that in order to convert your angles from degrees to minutes, you need to know that one degree is exactly equal to one, I mean 60 minutes. As a result, we say, if the latitude of a place on the Earth's surface is one minute, the distance of such place measured from the equator along the meridian is one nautical mile. So one nautical mile simply means the distance of one place from either the equator or another along the meridian for which the latitude is equal to one minute. One minute simply means one over 60 degrees. Looking at this, so I pick this point and this point, picking the angle of separation here, which is displaced towards the right for you to see what we are talking about. This is not one degree, it is one minute. Then we move ahead. So how large is a nautical mile? We need to know the size of one nautical mile. We say since the distance between two places, A and B, on a given meridian is given as AB, which is theta over 360 degrees multiplied by 2 pi r, as we have been doing, the angle which is the latitude given is one minute, which is defined as one over 60 degrees. If we want to check the magnitude of a nautical mile as converted, as is converted in kilometers, we shall see the magnitude of the angle, which is theta, given as 1 over 60 degrees, all over 360 degrees, multiplied by 2 pi r. There's no cost latitude here because along the meridian, everything is on a great circle. Upon calculation, evaluation, as much as I know you can do it very well, after division we find out that one nautical mile is approximately equal to 1.8624 kilometers. So once you hear one nautical mile, you are talking about 1.8624 kilometers or 1,862.4 meters if you want to convert it to meters. So we say conversion of kilometers to multiple miles. In order to convert distances in kilometers to multiple miles, we need to divide the distance as given in kilometers by 1.8624 kilometers to get our answer in nautical miles. Example will make it clearer. Here we say how many nautical miles are there in 106.2 kilometers? Give your answer to the nearest whole number. Solution, we already know that 1.8624 kilometers is one nautical mile. Then 106.2 kilometers, how many nautical miles will it give us? Remember, if more, let's divide. Some people will say cross multiplication. But once you do the evaluation, you will get your x to be equal to 57.02 nautical miles, which is to the nearest whole number equal to 57 nautical miles. Then we calculate distances in nautical miles. Problem. He say P is a place on the Earth's surface positioned on a latitude 60 degrees north 
and 86 degrees west. It means the latitude is 60 degrees north and the longitude is 86 degrees west. So the questions are, how far west of the Greenwich Meridian is P? Actually, the Greenwich Meridian is a standard with which to measure the distance of one place from another. The next question says, how many nautical miles is P from the equator? We go ahead. This is the diagram. P is, look at it, 86 degrees west and 60 degrees north. First question, we say, let G be the Greenwich Meridian, then GP here means the absolute value of GP means the distance between the Greenwich Meridian and P, which is defined at the longitude difference the longitude of Greenwich Meridian is zero, so the longitude difference here is going to be 86 minus zero, which is actually 86 degrees over 360 degrees, multiplied by 2 pi r cos latitude. Upon substitution of values, we work down to get the answer as 1,201.27 kilometers. Here it is given to two decimal places. The second question, we say, let Q be the point on the equator and on the same meridian as P. You go back to the diagram, look at the Q, which is the point on the equator, which serves as a standard of measurement here. Why P is here. Both P and Q are on the same meridian as stated. So, what do we do? We say that... The distance, which is from G to Q, is given as 60 degrees over 360 degrees multiplied by 2 pi. And there's no cost latitude here because along the meridian, everything is on the grid circle. Putting values upon evaluation, we get the distance to be 6,704.76 kilometers. But remember, we are asked how many nautical miles. Since we have gotten the distance in kilometers, what do we do next? What do we do? What do you think we have to do? We have to convert the distance in kilometers to distance in nautical miles, which means here we say convert the answer in kilometer to nautical miles. What do we do? This particular 6,704.76 kilometers converted to nautical miles will be divided by 1.8624 kilometers so that our answer will be in multiple miles. We got our answer here to be 3,600.1 multiple miles. So when you get it yourself, solve it, you will get 3,600.1 multiple miles. If you do it and you discover that there is a little error or whatsoever, just let me know. Do you understand me? Don't panic, we are together. Now, next. When we are measuring the distance between two places or more on the Earth's surface, the distance can be measured along the equator, the distance can be measured along the parallels of latitude, there may be the reason or need to measure the distance along the great circle. The distance between two places along the great circle, for which the distance along the equator is also along the great circle, but we are thinking of leaving those points on the parallels of latitude where they find themselves and finding the distance along the great circle. Such distance is what is called the shortest distance between any two points. This is points, not points. Is it okay? This is P O I N T S not P-O-I-T-S. So please take note of it. On the S surface, so the formula is given as D base S means shortest distance, which is 2. This is not sign inverse. Don't say it is sign inverse. It is X sign. Then open bracket, sign of half of the longitude difference multiplied by the cosine of the latitude over 360 degrees everything multiplied by 2 pi r over 1. The important thing is to memorize the formula and put it in practice. We are, theta is the longitude difference and alpha is the latitude of the places. Example will make it better. 
Example says, two places G, latitude 15 degrees north and longitude 40 degrees west, and H, latitude 50 degrees north and longitude 50 degrees east, are on the Earth's surface. We are to calculate the shortest distance between G and the H, taking pi to be 22 over 7, and radius of the Earth to be 6,400 kilometers. We carry on. Put down the diagram. The diagram is very important. You draw it. The longitude difference is there is 40 degrees on the left, there is 60 degrees on the, way, on the right. So the sum of the two angles will give you the longitude difference, which is 40 degrees plus 50 degrees, giving you 90 degrees, while the latitude is 50 degrees north. Put down the formula as given to you and substituting values. So putting in values, 90 degrees as the longitude for which half of it becomes 45 degrees, 50 degrees as the latitude. Evaluate this carefully. Be careful the way you press your calculator. The shortest distance is here obtained to be 6,041.61 kilometers. Please check it to know if there is an error. If there is any error, you let us know. If there is no error, please make your notes. Next, there is the possibility of finding out the variations in time between two different places. For example, most of the time, it is possible that when you call somebody in a country different from your own country, and you are discussing about time, the time two of you are given may be different from each other. The reason being that both of you are not positioned on the same longitude. So we go on. We say that the rotation of the Earth about its axis makes the Earth define a total of 360 degrees within a period of 24 hours. So from where we see that in every one hour, the Earth will rotate through 360 degrees over 24 hours to define 15 degrees. It means, therefore, that within every one hour, the Earth upon rotation defines 15 degrees. So, we say from here, we understand that any two places on different meridians with longitude difference of 15 degrees have a time difference of one hour. That's why you hear most of the time that Nigeria is one hour ahead of the Greenwich Meridian, which means when it is 12 o'clock in London, it is 1 o'clock in Nigeria. That's it. The time difference becomes that. So in some way, we say by calculation or by formula, time difference TD, that TD, which is time difference not technical drawing anyway, it defined as longitude difference between the two places over 15 degrees. So if you want to find the time difference between two places, Check their longitude difference, divide it by 15 degrees, whatever you get in hour or each fraction becomes the time difference. Example, you say M and N are two places on the equator with longitudes this and that, 58 degrees east and 62 degrees west respectively. The question here says, what is the time difference between M and N? Then what time will it be? at M when it is 3.50 a.m. at M. Mind their respective positions. M is on the eastern side, M is on the western side. Therefore, as a result, M is west of M is west of M and M is east of M. Now the next question says what time will it be at M when it is 10 30? This is 10 30 a.m not this thing is 10 30 a.m is the typographical error there's nothing like 10 3 a.m okay there may be 10 3 a.m but you should read 10 0 3 a.m here what we mean is 10 30 a.m at m so we carry on the diagram that's the diagram we position m and position n m is on the east n is on the west with their respective longitudes so we take the longitude difference, which is obtained to be 120 degrees. What is the time difference? The time difference is longitude difference divided by 15 degrees, which gives us 8 hours. It means that anybody traveling from M to N, moving at the speed of rotation of the Earth, 
we spend eight hours in order to move from M to N if the earth remains in position. Otherwise, it will not be easy. Here we see time at M is 3.50 a.m. So it says, since M is on the eastern part of M, going from west to east gains time, so we add the time difference to the existing time to get the actual time. Therefore, what are we talking about? When it is 3.50 a.m. at M, the time at M is supposed to be 3.50 a.m. plus that 8 hours time difference to give us 11.50 a.m. If the sun is bigger than 12 hours, then it will change from a.m. to p.m. with a subtraction of 12. Is it okay? Assuming you added something like uh, 10 here, assuming you added 10 hours to 350, what you're going to get is 1350, I mean 1350. So 13 minus 12 will give you what? 150. It will then change from a.m. to p.m. So you are supposed to wake up 1.50 p.m., no more a.m. So we move ahead. Next, when it is 10.30 a.m. at m, time at n will be 10.30 a.m. minus 8 hours because of what? Of moving from m back to n, we are moving from east back to west, so we subtract the time difference giving us 10 a.m., 10.30 a.m. minus 8 hours to give us 2.30 a.m. Do not say that it is not possible. It is true. Assignments. It said three places A and B are, as indicated in the question, you read it carefully. The question says, Taking R, the radius of the Earth to be 6,400 kilometers and pi to be 23.142, calculate the time at A if it is 2.10 p.m. at B, the time at B if it is 3.45 a.m. at A, the distance in nautical mile, in nautical mile between B and the C. That's your assignment. When you are done with the assignment, you submit the assignment here. Thank you, my dear students.